Hello guys, this is Silvershade and today I'm going to be showing you how to use different cursors in your PyQt5 application. So I have this basic window which has a button and if I run this, you can see we have it over here. Let me quickly just set a fixed size for the window. Self dot set fixed size, maybe 600, 400. And if I run this again, we have our app here. Okay. So using default cursors in PyQt5 is very simple. What you have to do is go down here after your widget which in my case is a push button and then just use this method called set cursor right so this method is inherited from qwidget so anything which inherits from qwidget even our window we can set a cursor using this method so inside of this you have to pass a q cursor object so we're gonna make our q cursor object i'm gonna call it cursor equals q cursor so pyqt5.qt gui inside of that you have q cursor and initialize it and then we're gonna use this method called cursor dot set shape so this takes in an integer we have an enum in the qt class so we can just say qt right i'm gonna import it so pyqt5.qtcore.qt right so here we have it and then dot and if you're using pycharm you can just say cursor with an upper c and it's gonna list all the items with cursor in it so we have all of these cursors so for now i'm gonna show you the cross cursor so once i do this i'm gonna pass in this cursor inside of this method so cursor and then if i run this hopefully it should work yeah so we have the cross cursor so you can refer this docs i'm just gonna leave the link in the description and they've listed all the cursors the cursor shape and cursor name right you can just see which one you want and choose it i think almost all of it should be there in this qt class so one thing you can also do is instead of this you can just pass in qt dot any cursor so I'm going to say pointing hand cursor, right? So if we go to the source of this, you can see it's just a number, but something is happening, which makes it a Q cursor object. I'm not sure. Maybe it's this line. So once we do this and we run, we're going to get a pointing hand cursor. So instead of this, you can just say qt dot the cursor name. Okay, so that's done. So this set cursor method is inherited from qwidget. So any class which inherits from qwidget, you can use the set cursor method and set a custom cursor.
Okay, so let me just save it as cursor.png. And if we go here, we have the cursor I just made and we're gonna use it. So first of all, you have to make a pix map. So from pyqt5.qt GUI, you have to import qpix map. And then I'm gonna call it pix equals qpix map. So this takes the file name from which it should load from, or you can even load it using a method later. I'm just gonna load it right now give, by giving it a file name. So cursor.png. Okay, there we go. And then if we remove this, it takes in a Q cursor. So I'm just gonna uncomment this. And what this takes in is a pix map or a bitmap. Right, so let me just place this over here. And I'm gonna pass it pix, which is our qpix map object. And over here, I'm gonna pass in cursor. So if I run this, we have the cursor we just made. So if you look closely, you'll see that the button actually activates when the middle of the cursor goes on it, right? So we can change that. So if I check the parameters of this Q cursor initialization, you will see that there is a hot X and hot Y. So the position of the hotspot in your cursor. So what a hotspot is, is that inside of this whole cursor, which is 25 by 25, you have to have a point, which is the actual location of your cursor. The rest of the pixels are just for show because we really can't locate one pixel on the screen, right? So if it's in the middle, when you like hover over something and the middle reaches the object, it's gonna actually hover. And if it's the top left, when the top left of your cursor reaches an object, it is considered as hover. So um, if I go over to Photoshop, it uses this convention, you know, PyQt uses this convention. The top left is zero zero and the bottom right is the size of the image in my case 2525 right so you can have it anywhere even over here over here you just have to give the hot x and hot y positions so by default the hot x and hot y positions are negative one and negative one which means the center of the image you can calculate it but it, it's just made easier for you you can just actually you can just give any negative value and it's going to be the center of your cursor but if you want to give it a real location on your cursor it should range from zero zero to the size of your image so this is zero zero and let's just try it if i give zero zero and run it when i touch the top of my cursor on my button it should show the hover effect as you can see right and let's try negative values negative hundred negative hundred so any negative value is the center. So if I hover over it, you can see the top doesn't really hover this time. And when I go a little bit more at the center, it shows the hover effect. And if I want the bottom position, I can use 25, 25. And now my hotspot is gonna be the bottom right so if i reach my bottom of the cursor onto the button 
it should show the hover effect. So if passing positions like this confuses you, you can just use unpacking and just make a variable called chords or anything. You can call it anything. And if I set it to zero, zero, and then I can just unpack it using star and then chords. So star chords is basically me just saying zero comma zero over here without the tuple, like normally how you pass it. So star chords. And inside this, you can just give it anything you want. It just makes it more you know, readable. So this is my X and this is my Y. Also, if you want to resize your image, you can just use this method called dot scale to it or scale to height, anyone which is convenient and just give it, you know, if I want to make it smaller, my current width is 25. Maybe I want to make it 15, right? So scale to width actually returns a QPix map. So it's going to reassign this pix map, not just modify it. So if I run this, my cursor should be smaller. Yeah, so you can see it has become really small. And yeah, instead of making a variable, you can just, you know, create the pix map inside of your initialization of Q cursor, and that's going to work as well. Thank you for watching guys. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more videos on Python, be sure to comment and subscribe to see my uploads.